Hey guys, my name is Rajan Amfatlal and today I'm going to be presenting to you all on HSBC Bank. Corporate sustainability has emerged as a critical function of all companies, irrespective of their size, with its reporting being as critical as the annual financial profits to stakeholders. Sustainability has been defined as the ability to achieve meeting present needs without adversely affecting the capability of the future generation from achieving the same. Ranging from McDonald's to Walmart, almost all companies have appreciated the importance of sustainability and adopted it in their strategies to the point of generating annual profits for relevant stakeholders. HSBC is one of the largest banking and financial service organizations in the world, with operations in 64 countries and territories. The aim to be where growth is enabling businesses to thrive and economies to prosper, and ultimately helping people fulfill their hopes and realize their ambitions. The bank offers services like personal finance, commercial banking, investment banking, and consumer finance, while working with a wide range of customers, from small enterprises to mid-market companies and large multinationals, providing them with the tools they need to function efficiently. As part of its mission to reduce emissions, it's investing heavily in renewable energy companies, working towards a future where 100% of its electricity will come from renewable sources by 2030. With the help of employees, suppliers, and strategic partners, HSBC achieved the initial energy, paper, waste, and carbon reduction goals. They stretched these targets and made them more challenging, including setting a new target to source 100% of their electricity from renewable sources by 2030. In 2019, they were recognized with an A- leadership score by the CDP, a leading environmental disclosure organization, and shall continue to focus on achieving their remaining 2020 goals whilst planning a more ambitious target for the future. The bank's pursuit of a traditional strategy is meant to show their stakeholders that they are engaged in practices which benefit the community. In 2017 to 2019, the company used $52.9 billion to fund their CSR activities by promoting education and freshwater availability in communities they operate in. The company's executive committee is only focused on traditional CSR strategies as an attempt to show the company is keen on CSR practices. The bank's traditional approach is geared towards two models, developing modalities of implementation and monitoring the CSR activities to gauge the community impact. HSP is a fair trading company and is very concerned about the interest of stakeholders. The obligation of the bank is to ensure that their customers are satisfied about the service they are offered by the company. To create value for their stakeholders, the company has focused on increasing their profitability margins, translating to increased dividend payouts. The bank meets the needs of the local communities by implementing CSR activities and meets the need of the customers by providing an outstanding customer service. HSP also listens to opinions and expectations of stakeholders, including government shareholders and customers into business decision-making processes. For example, in 2001, based on concerns around marketing to children, they prevented from advertising to children under eight years of age, where they are the majority of the audience. As shown in the company's sustainable and government report, the key focus has been the measure, the impact in terms of dollar value of projects the company is engaged in. Projects that aid the firm in achieving the CSR objective are extolled in the company and are generally pursued. To evaluate their impact on social, environmental and economic landscapes, the firm uses return on investment analytical tools. The bank's executive committee thus evaluates every project to determine the money used yielded than expected outcome. The executive committee also endorses any new projects to be sponsored and is responsible for any cancellations in a project. For a project to be considered successful, it must at least achieve seven out of 10 out of the intended objectives. As explored, HSBC uses its executive's committee to evaluate the success of its CSR projects. The firm can improve its evaluation by engaging with organizations like GRI, which is the Global Reporting Initiative and Organizations for Economic Cooperation and Development, to evaluate whether its CSR approaches create value for the target communities. Using GRI, 
standards will enable the company to evaluate how its internal processes and activities impact the external environment and local communities. Using OECD metrics can allow the company to align their internal processes to impact low income communities and ensure that the CSR activities impact the vulnerable members of the society. Using these standards will also allow the company to align its key operations to focus more on sustainability instead of the bottom line. As shown in the company's sustainable blueprint, the company is only focused on 17 out of the 169 sustainable targets. This is an indication of the firm's lethargy and inability to adopt and adapt to change. The firm can change the apartheid by focusing on how they reduce their carbon blueprint and focus on the green practices the firm can adopt. Given that HSBC uses traditional CSR approaches, I would say that the company will still be greenwashing. The reason for this is because the company has only set 17 out of 169 targets achieved by 2030. In addition, the company has only focused on few goals in its focus on promoting, promoting education and educational sustainability. HSBC should change its approach and increase its target goals. For instance, to be wholly committed, the company should seek to achieve at least 40% of its 169 targets by 2030. Advancing loans and grants to those companies engaged in social projects, reducing their carbon footprint by adopting the use of renewables. Creating a division focused on evaluating environmental impact of the firm's key projects are very important as well. Thank you.